Last week, we brought you some thoughts from voters who supported Donald Trump. Roll cameras. This week, CBS News contributor and Republican strategist Frank Luntz talked to Muslims about their thoughts about what's going on in America following the San Bernardino terror attack and Donald Trump's call to ban Muslims from entering the United States. Any, but every Frank, time that there's some kind of an attack in this country, every time that there's any kind of a crime, I'm literally praying, and I'm sure that everyone else here literally praying that it's not a Muslim. Before, yeah. before any facts start rolling through, we're literally praying that it's not a Muslim. And when it is, I know exactly what's going to happen. Frank, I mean, we've seen this for decades. This isn't anything new, as, as many of my peers have said. No, it's exactly that. I actually did a call out to Muslim parents across the country to not watch the Republican debate in front of their children, mm -hmm. because I knew that that uh, subjecting our children to hear the hateful um, stereotyping and the lumping of Muslims with uh, terrorism in front of our children is actually something that is psychologically impacts them. So that's how deep this is for us. But don't you want the kids to know the challenges that they face? I you don't want my children to be subjected to uh, racism or the vilification of their faith. I will explain to my kids in my own way, in the way that I can speak to them, and I will not allow Donald Trump to tell my kids um, how they should feel about being Muslim. I want a word or phrase to describe Donald Trump. Exploitative. Worse than Voldemort. <laughs> Psychopath. Bigoted. A blessing in disguise for us. I want to go at your response. Why? That's why we're here, Frank. I would not be sitting here right now if this wasn't happening. A lot of our voices would not be out, he out, out here because of him. We are now in the public spotlight. Let's use this to talk about who we really are, all right? Let's use this to be like, hey, America, we're Americans. Don't fear us, okay? Fear your crazy politicians who are trying to buy your votes. And I think this gives us a great chance, you know? What percent of the Muslim community do you think could potentially be a physical threat to the country? In America, maybe less than 1%. So you all agree? Frank, 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 but if, Frank, but if Trump is... keeps doing what he's doing, and if he's elected president, that number, whatever it may be, will skyrocket. So you're I saying that Trump could fair. actually... No. 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 Yes. Go ahead. No. 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 Guys, let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. He's being irresponsible. The American people need to understand that. The national security agencies have said that his comments might be used as a poster for ISIS. He's driving and fueling anger amongst Americans and abroad.